Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, whatever time you are watching this. <laughs> so, uh, let's start with the features that Stan currently has. So, this is how you know it's called Stan. Stan the van. So, Holly, do you want to demonstrate one of the... Go on then. So, he's got automatic opening rear doors now these probably won't be staying <laughs> purely because of the size of the motors <laughs> but they'll probably have to go so holly would you like to close them again for me so that's one of the features let's go through the obvious other feature holly is now going to show the next obvious feature of this van This is for Tooney, this bit. Bought this van specially for Tooney. Right? You can stand on that bit. And down you go. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. There you go. So, as you can see, it is a 52 plate Mercedes Benz. So, it's got the LED rear lights. Uh, lots of stickers all over it where it's been now So you may notice there I took it to IMM so some of you will have seen this van before There's a side profile. It's got 18 inch uh, wheels on it They're hearted wheels uh, It has got some surface rust that does need treating. Let's go around the front Back out, back out, back out. Now everybody keeps saying to me, the bumpers need heat treating. They don't, they should be grey anyway. They are faded grey, and I do need to sort that, but they, they, are, they should be grey anyway. We'll come around the side, and you'll see this side. It's got a bit more rust on it, but it is all surface rust. It just needs cleaning back, uh, sanding, uh, rust treating, and then painting. So I think Holly's gonna give us a tour of inside now. So what have we got, Hull? Let's go inside so it's a bit easier to see. So we've got, obviously, speakers and everything back here. We've even got a subwoofer under there. Uh, there's obviously the ramp and everything like that, and the uh, the doors. And then we've got a fold-away seat here that at the moment's folded away. We don't need that out at the moment. We've got a seat there, and we'll come round to the front. Uh, let me open the side door. So, in the front, you may notice these are A-class AMG seats uh, and they are fully swivel. I'll show you that in a second. Uh, let's go back inside. Yes, it's an automatic and that is a bullet shifter. Um, it's got the latest steering wheel on it as well. Sorry, I keep saying it's, but it's he. <laughs> um, it's got the Kenwood uh, DAB uh, Bluetooth radio. Nice bit of kit that. Uh, it's got a reversing camera. I'll show you that. So it has got the reversing camera, obviously the dash cam. Really long these things. Really long sun visors, Holly says. Uh, there's the control for the subwoofer. Uh, it's got twin horns. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's got the world's longest handbrake. Are you ready? That's it on. Where's that break? Underneath. And that's it off. <laughs> so you should be able to see the seats a bit better now. So it has got the AMG seats in it that do swivel on the basis. There's Holly. <laughs> yep, so that swivels and that is also one of them 
I don't know if it's if it's called a captain's chair or something, but this also moves with the van as well, which is very good. Uh, you can see that seat a bit better. So what we'll do is we'll set you up on the tripod and we'll just explain a few things. It's also got a little pop-out table here that hooks onto this bar at the moment. Do you know how to do it? Uh, you need to turn that thing up there. Pop it out. Pull it out. Just pull it up. And then the leg you need to... Ah, ah, don't. Stop, stop, stop. Yeah. need to push down on that. There you go. Mm -hmm. And then hook it into there. There you go. Little pop out table. We've used that a few times going to McDonald's, haven't we, Ollie? Already, already? Yeah. So now we're inside, Stan. Hold on a second. Made no difference. So let me give you a bit of background uh, regarding Stan, first of all. <laughs> so, Stan originally, I think I'm the third owner. So, Stan originally was purchased and then shipped straight off to a conversion company. Um, for the for the gentleman who owned him previously that was severely disabled uh, hence the ramp, hence the automatic doors um, it didn't even have a steering wheel on when my uncle first bought it uh, it, w it had like skis uh, to steer it with it had big massive uh, seats with like custom headrests the wiring in this thing was unbelievable it's still unbelievable it's still got fuse boxes and wires that I don't touch because I'm not sure what they do uh, it's had a custom flat floor put into it for the wheelchairs to come in, obviously. Um, all the way up to the front, and then it's got lockable things in the floor as well. Um, what else? So then, obviously, my uncle then purchased it. Uh, my uncle is a carer uh, for a lady, and, and she needs wheelchair access, so... You know, he purchased it for that reason, so she could, uh, so he could take her out uh, on visits and things like that. So that's obviously why he's had it. And then he's then purchased a newer van uh, to do that in, and offered me this one for a price that I couldn't refuse, basically. So with Love lockdown, eh? Hey? Everybody loves this van. Everybody loves this van. Uh, it's got great character. It's a fifty-two play uh, Mercedes Benz Vito. Um, but everybody's also love this van. It's got such character. My uncle's put his own stamp on it, and now it's my turn to put, uh, well, our turn to put our own stamp on it, isn't it? So then we'll get into the reason why we purchased it. So we purchased this purely to uh, make it into a camper van, didn't we? We've locked down everything that's gone on and just, you know, personal things that have happened, you know, lost loved ones and things like that. I think it's important uh to cherish cherish the moments with your family as much as possible and i think we're going to try and do this so to give you a rough idea of what we're planning so these seats obviously will be back round that way you can get a bed base that go that hooks onto both uh door cards that's where holly will be uh my son zach uh who is two coming up to well be three this year uh, maybe something that hooks off the seats here or hooks off off the back of the seats here and there'll be some sort of like a, a hammock sort of thing set up here this is all theoretically at the moment um, then there will be a rock and roll bed more or less where the camera is right now uh, so that will be the, the, the seats for the kids while we're driving around so it'll be um, one with seat belts on and then obviously at night time it will fold out to be a bed and then some sort of like kitchenette area here uh, coming along this door Got, uh, and to the back we've got um now we've got a cutter set oh yeah we've been and bought a cutter set today and a stove and a stove so we've the stove. we're collecting little things as we're uh, as we're going uh so the ramp uh, the the ramp for me obviously it, it doesn't mean anything so that'll be getting taken out and going up for sale uh the automatic doors i would love to keep i just don't think i'm, I'm gonna have the space for them um so we'll probably just have to go oh, is that such a shame? I like them doors. <laughs> um, the button's next to me. Oh yeah, the button is next to you. So there's a little button down here that open them doors. So yeah, I think I think they'll probably end up going as well, and it'll be going back to manual doors. Um, and I think that's more or less it. Well, obviously there'll be a flat floor in here. There'll be curtains up and everything like that. But it is just to get out and enjoy it. That's the whole point. You know, we just want to. Go away, don't we? Want to park up next to the beach, sleep in the van, and then the kids come run on the beach at six. Well, my son is getting up about five at the moment, so five, six o'clock in the morning, the kids come run on the beach, and we can just have a, a lovely time. Um, yeah, I'm I'm really excited. So 
I'm going to film as much as I can of this project. Uh, the kids want to be involved. Uh, my wife wants to be involved. She wants to help out as much as possible. So apparently I'm not allowed to get mad with her uh, or take over when she's doing something slowly. <laughs> so yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna play it by ear, really. Just uh, can we clean it first? Yeah, it needs a deep clean, <laughs> um, and then we can then There's get a on. That you missed. What's the feature that I missed? What windows? Them windows! Oh, so Holly wants to show you the uh, sliding windows. So I got to do that one over there. This one. So unhook that little thing out of it first. Which way does this one go? Does it go that way? No. Nope. Does it go this way, Dad? Yeah. Are you sure? He has got sliding windows. Both front and back. Uh, both front and back. Cause he's got front and back. He's got them both in in both sliding doors. This one's really hard because I cleaned that one. I didn't clean this one. <laughs> so yeah. So let's just finish off the video. So that is the van. That is Stan. The van. Um, we're we're so excited, aren't we? Yeah. To start this project, we really, really are. Uh, complete novices. I've never done all like this before. My wife certainly hasn't. And certainly, you, you've you not built any camper vans in you before, have you? No. No? Not before I met you or anything? <laughs> so, it is, it's just going to be, we're going to wing it, basically. Research as much as possible, like I do with anything when it comes to cars, really. Research as much as possible and take it from there. Holly will do the research, apparently. So, thanks for watching, guys. I always do the research. Oh, do you? Yeah! Okay. Holly always does the research. How do you put a Nissan Micro Engine in a minute? You don't know. <laughs> so thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a great day. Right, so what we're going to do...